what is z score for outlier detection let's see outliers are those points that are different from the typical data point for instance you have a bunch of points clustered around 55 here and then there's a 110 this is an outlier that you might want to examine or sometimes remove from your data set but how do you identify these outliers z score is one technique the z score essentially measures how far a data point is from the mean relatively so what you're doing here is just subtracting the mean from the data point and seeing the distance but the distances could be relative and in order to normalize that you typically divide by the standard deviation so for instance you could be looking at stars in the sky and if you measure the distance in light years the distances could be like you know one light year 0.5 light years and so on but if you're looking in kilometers it could be like huge so in order to get you know do an apples to apples comparison you also divide by the standard deviation and the resulting score is easy to interpret so for instance in this case you can say that if a point is more than three standard deviations away that is the z score is higher than three it's clearly an outlier right so now you can always say that you know a very high value of z score or a very low value of z score let's say like you know greater than two or three like have a cutoff is an outlier so how do you compute z score in python it is pretty simple to do so all you need to do is to subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation but it's made even simpler because you have a function in scipy uh, dot stats called the z score so here is a numpy array that i created in ascending order for you to visualize easily as you can see most of the data points are between six and seven uh, around six and seven and there is one data point which is like 25 and there is a one here at the beginning now which of these are outliers we can see that 25 is clearly an outlier right one may or may not be so let's compute the z-score so if i compute the z-score and visualize the z-score i see that the point 25 got like a really high z-score of 3.02 while points that are close to the mean got a z-score almost close to zero right if you think about it the mean will get a z-score of zero and points that are one got a z-score of minus 1.21 which is also you know pretty uh, high the absolute value of this is pretty high but not as high as three so depending on your threshold you can say that you know 25 is an outlier here you also can uh, directly do it on a pandas data frame so you can actually do an apply of stats dot z score on a particular column and then if you have a cutoff so in this case uh, i have a data frame with you know randomly generated values and i want to look at column a to find outliers so as you can see 149 is much lower than all these other values so if i compute the z score for these values and have a cutoff of 1.5 i see that only the first one is the outlier while all the others are not outliers and it got like you know a high value of absolute value of z score right so again it's pretty easy to implement now where does z score not work so z-score works when you have this kind of a nice gaussian kind of data where you can say if you are certain standard deviations away from the data you're an outlier right uh, that kind of statement is easy to make if your data is gaussian distributed where most of the data is around the mean but what if most of the data is not around the mean right so uh, what are some examples let's look at this uh, data set where you have a bunch of points here on the left hand side most of the points are between 6 and 7 on the right hand side most of the points are between 35 and 36 now these are like two distinct sets of points none of which are outliers and then there is 120 in between which is probably the outlier here right but if you look at the z scores the 20 is the one which has a z score close to zero because it's near the mean while all these other points get like you know a really high low z score or a low z score so it clearly does not work in this example right so you have a multimodal distribution like this that's what you saw you could also have like a skewed distribution which is skewed to one side and again there would be problems with z-score because it's not gaussian distributed right where there's asymmetry 
another place where the simple one dimensional z score does not work is if you have an outlier in the multi dimensional sense what we mean by this is if we take this example we can see an outlier here very clearly but if you take the x coordinate if you project it on the x axis the x coordinate is not really an outlier uh, by itself right because there are many points around it here like it is looking like a valid x coordinate it has a pretty typical y coordinate it looks like but when you look at them together you see that this is clearly an outlier and this simple one dimensional z score cannot find these outliers let's summarize today we looked at what z score is for outlier detection we looked at simple python code to compute the z score we also looked at where z score works and where it does not hope you use z score in many of your projects to find outliers Thank you.